Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the deep playthrough of Dark Souls 3. This is the entrance, I think, to Farron's Keep. And from what I've read about the game, I don't know that much about the game. I really like that, going into it quite um, blindly. But I did read that the Farron's Keep is um, pretty damn hard. I already found the, the previous uh, section quite challenging. Or very challenging with those big crabs but uh, apparently uh, that was nothing compared to the annoying enemies like magician casters that drain your health that you cannot do anything uh, against uh, apparently it is um, much harder so i was thinking there is also um we can traveled there another road that I wanted to check out so let's do that first there was this this bridge on the northern side of the swamp we're now not that far from where we were um, there is like that watery swamp of uh, with the crabs that's uh, over there with like um, I forgot what I wanted to say, but yeah, the, the watery swamp is behind these ruins. Uh, yeah, where we were like, uh, I, I don't know, two episodes ago, or maybe even ran uh, through it in the previous episodes. Um, on the other side of that watery swamp, which is really like a five second uh, run, uh, is a, an archway, just like that one over there like a like a, an entrance that is where we were so we are not that uh, far from where we started this episode but i do fast travel because in these ruins are a lot of annoying enemies that i already took out a couple of times don't really feel like doing it again so we have one annoying oh shit! by the way let's check i have 34 souls I cannot really sell a lot, so I have, yeah, I just need to strut on, I would say. I have 34 souls, but the dangerous part is if you fall down there, you really fall to your death. So it really is all about um, not falling to your death. What I am going to try to do, not rolling to your death. What I am going to try and do is bait him out to an open section. Like over here. Because I know myself, chances of me Rolling down are huge. Alright, at least we have a little bit more... Um, such an idiot. You have to be... Oh my god. You have to be patient. And then the game really is not that hard. As long as you're patient and not try to get hits in when the enemy is actually himself um, in his startup of his next hit, because you will get uh, hurt. It's all about systematic um, approach to combats and cheesing, like I will be doing now. Because I really hate these. And there is one of those. Um, Are they all hitting? 
Yes, they're all hitting the... Um, the rocks. Uh, I'm teasing this guy also because there's one of those other big guys downstairs. I don't want to fight them both at once. God damn it. here holy shit I never saw that attack yet and again be mindful of the um, I don't think I can easily roll off a ledge over here But I can roll into the fire, I'm pretty sure. These guys really have a lot of uh, stamina. If you're patient, really that is the key of this game. Don't overdo it. Either cheese your way through or be patient. All right, and this is the bridge that I was talking about. I will show you how I viewed it yesterday when I was there. I think that is also the bridge where we start the uh, on that settlement, maybe a little bit more over there. It's pretty cool how it is indeed also quite an uh, interconnected world this. Just like Dark Souls 1. Anyways, I was walking over here and then I noticed it is a bridge. Or, uh, yeah, I wanted to say aqueduct, but I do think this is just a bridge. So, this looks to be a pretty epic stair. So, I'm really like, are we immediately in for another, bro another boss battle? Because where the bonfire was at the start of this episode is actually also was a boss area. No idea. Ah, at least we have... They're pretty close uh, to each other. That's pretty nice. Where are we now? <laughs> Which one is this? Cathedral of the Deep. Holy shit, that are two big areas. This is also a big area. So Farron's Keep, where we started this episode. And this one, it's not like one is a little side area. I think they are both um, yeah, really main uh, story areas. At least I've read quite a lot about them, or at least their names. Um, guys, I have to do a very quick sanitary stop. We'll be back within 20 seconds. back maybe a little bit longer than 20 seconds don't even know um 
do I want to 4500 souls? All right, I have no idea how dangerous this all is over here. I do see that we can go to the right. Nothing really hidden over here. We can go to the left as well. Oh shit. There's one of those annoying um, enemies that were also at the entrance of Farron's Keep. Farron Keep. Ah, check it out. And another one. Could very well be that this is really a harder area before I will be attacking him. Let's see if we have more wide open space over here. Yes, I do think so. I will be pulling that guy over here. And he looks, yeah, he didn't really aggro, so I'm not even sure whether he is an enemy or a friendly. Pretty sure he's an enemy. Holy fuck, motherfucker. How much damage does he do? Not that much. Ah, fuck me. It's really not that hard to beat these guys. Guys, they are like mini bosses to me. Seriously, they hit pretty damn hard. At least I have my stuff close by, so that's good. Man, they are annoying. You know what? I'm going to um, magic my way through here. to melee my way through here. Again, it is all about, I think, um, you know what, I'm just going to stab him. It is all about Being patient and getting out of the way. But sometimes they, like now, they have so much fucking stamina. And I think he will also, I think he may have a bleed weapon. Ah, and he will also be probably parrying. He looks like. He is in parry mode. No, 
now he's in a parry mode, I think. And again, I think it's looks a bit like a parry mode. Oops, that was also a little bit of a parry mode. Nice, I was expecting to get hit over there. He does have a nick for walk. Oh shit. For walking. Ah, oh, my fucking hell. He has a little nick for walking into my sword. Like so. Alright, very annoying that a guy like that is. Uh, Taking my Estes. Anyways, now I have 594. I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100. Yeah, 99% sure that in an earlier episode I looked at my HP and it actually was 700 something. And I was already like wondering why do I have more HP suddenly? Maybe. But I also don't remember taking any buff or anything. Really weird. Anyways, this guy, we can now leave B. Or at least we don't need to fight anymore once we have this. Paladin Ashes. Ah, those Ashes. I think I need to give them to Andre. Um, the Weaponsmith. Let's just get our stuff back. Our Estus. Did I fight him two-handed or one-handed? I'm an idiot. Did I forgot to double hands again? forest area it's eerily quiet I must say will the trees become enemies themselves will rocks boulders roll down looks like a place where maybe something went down like a mini boss area Also, not really. Unless this is one of those areas with like a secret entrance. I don't think it is. It's just a side area to make the world feel a bit bigger than only your own path, which I really like. Because it should be a bigger world than only the players. Um, journey. And you can be more immersed in it. The world actually exists beside your own journey. Alright, so we can either go in there one of those annoying dudes or we just jump down over here but then there is no jumping back up anymore so I'm a little bit hesitant about that can we then 
jump down from over there again. Yeah, it does walk, uh, how do you say it? Go up here. So I do think we can just jump down to the right here. Alright, those plants somehow they seem a little bit suspicious. But I can quickly make my way down here. Although, is this full damage high or not? I don't know. Alright, I find these two plants a little bit suspicious. They are not. I find this whole area a little bit suspicious. I do like the area, I must say, but like environment wise, I do like these foresty areas. Crest shield. I already have one of those, I think. Or, or heads, at least. Silver Eagle Kite, 144, blah, blah, blah. And then we have 167, 50, dark. 80 against dark, that's quite high. Um, but... No, it weighs the same actually. What is the weapon skill? This one. Equipping this shield in the left hand allows one to perform the skill on the right hand weapon. Oh, wrong button. Yeah, and this is a parry shield. So maybe that one may even be better. Let's see how it looks. Let's compare the two. But this is the one I... Already had. Pretty cool shield. And this is the new one. Oh shit, I need more strength. Cannot even use it. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger. But it weighs the same. Alright, anyways, the question is, can I get a aerial attack on that guy? I don't think so. I think he's just a little bit out of reach. So, let's just get him the old-fashioned way. Alright, do I want to do my... 594, I'm full health. Do I want to do my no fall damage buff? Nope, perfectly fine. Can we do full damage on him from here? How do I want to start these engagements? what that is that's battle cry or something all right this guy really is going to parry me like holy fuck holy fuck he is quick and he is how do you say it? He is freaking... Shielding up. Trying to parry me, probably. Oh my fucking hell, this shit. Alright, at least I got some good hits in. So it's all about 
attacking him first. But he only needs to... Oh, yeah, I wanted to say... <laughs> I literally wanted to say he only needs to attack me one more time and I'm a goner. I really need some more uh, stamina. I can get four hits in if I really want to push it. But then I don't really have stamina to roll away, I think. So I should be going with... I would say... Oh shit, I must not forget my souls. I have quite a lot of souls. Um, how many do I have? 6,000. Um, anywho, what the hell is this? Consumable, restore the link to, restore the link to other worlds. Um, what was I saying? I don't even remember. I don't, must not forget my picking up my souls. I have quite some and um, yeah, I can get in four hits, but probably three is the max. What the hell? What the hell? Did that hurt me? No. It's like a stagger, I think. Shit. I shoot once I hit him, I must hit him more. Let that be clear. Oh, fuck me. Uh, I should have hit him, hit him there for sure. What the hell? About three hits. Oops. Oh my uh, fucking. I just didn't want to. Um, I did not want to use my Estus, but I should have. Because he really hits hard. He's just super annoying, these guys. Seriously. If any, if every enemy in this area is like this, I don't like it. Why did that third hit didn't connect? This is going pretty okay. Nice. Screw you. You see, once you get it down, it's not that hard. But yeah, he hits pretty hard. Um, I could take Estes, but I will be wasting because I think it heals more than my damage currently is. Spider shields. All right, let's check out what that does. AT physical, magic, yeah. weapon skill. A shield bearing a large etching of spider. Shields of this tower are commonly used by savage mountain bandits and offer high resistance to poison. Weapon skill, skill, weapon skill. Equipping the shield in the left hand allows one to perform the skill of the right hand weapon. All right, so poison. Where do you see poison resistance? I don't even see it. Physical, magic, fire, lightning, dark, stability. I don't see anything about poison, but I'm probably overlooking it. Left column is attack power, so that's not relevant. It's about the right defense uh, column, guard absorption. 
additional effects. That is probably attack effects, so it's logical that that stays at zero. And all the way to the right is just my character um, status, or is this something? Ah, here we go. Yeah, but that's my total character um, stuff. So if I, let's see what happens if I equip that shield. All right, here we go. Two resistance to poison, 267, 152. Yeah, I don't see it changing. Maybe you just have to take it from the um, um, description, item description. I will quickly look it up. So we do Dark Souls 3, how to check poison resistance of shields. I do think that Farron Keep has a lot of poison, so the shield might come in handy. Please, please tell me how and where to find a page that says how much poison resistance, for example, the Groove Roth shield has. Yes, exactly my question. I searched for the answer to the question and found only a really old archive thread with no answers. It's basically irrelevant unless you're using the spider shield, which is 100% poison block. Holy shit. Thanks, bro. And to our sister. Oh, anyways, do you know of any other way to see the stat? It, if a shield had 85 block, for example, infusing it with poison it could give it 100 poison block for, or 95 or something and have better stability or other stats than the spider shield. I would rather have a shield with 95% poison and 90% physical. Then the spider shield, which has 100 poison uh, resistance and less physical. There should be a menu input that switches stat displays while an item is highlighted. Thanks for the response. However, even after pressing switch button, the poison rest stat still does appear. Just the poison attack stats. Yeah, I totally agree with this, dude. Spider shield, why? What poison resists? Does the spider shield offer more poison resist? I can't see any attacks in the menu that indicate it had poison resist. If I equip and unequip it, my poison resist doesn't change. Resist does change. All right, for me it did not. How can you see what shields offer in the way of poison, bleed and curse resist? When you're looking at an item in your inventory menu, on the right hand side there are symbols and each of them represent what you're looking for. Bleed looks like a brown, yeah, whatever. As f f like the guy didn't know that. Man, those non-answers of people. It's on the right hand side, bleed and stuff. Yes, it, it actually says bleed poison and stuff, but it doesn't, for me, it didn't change. As for, and that's also the character's total resistance, not the specific uh, armor type resistance. As for the spider shield, it's actually an extra property that it grants something like an extra 100% if I remember correctly, to poison resistance. It doesn't actually show up on your stats, it also doesn't show up as above, it just is. If you don't buy it, wait until you hit the swamp below Blight Town. Alright, so this is all, um, I am pretty sure Dark Souls 1 uh, talk, but I assume it will be the same, I mean it's the same shield. And again, everything, I cha nothing changes to my character. Um, To my defense. Whatever. 
we'll just try to avoid annoying poison attacks. All right, where are we now? We are in the cathedral deep or something. And I'm seeing a new enemy. No, not a new enemy. An annoying dog. I so hate these dogs because my weapon so often misses them. It's really annoying. <coughs> right, do I want to buff up? The problem is if I die here, this guy will uh, respawn. Another dog over there, so this is just a dog area. At least now I know to buff up, because now for sure I will be low. 250, let's see, 248, let's see what uh, I replenish, I think it was 348 or something. We were at 248, so here we go. Two forty eight. so that is... 345, right? No, maybe 335. It was 248. So from 48 to 83 is 35, yes. So 335 is what my damage should be if I uh, Estus up and don't want to waste any Estus. God damn it, I only have like 33 arrows. Here, these guys. All right. Uh, they will be standing behind a tree, motherfuckers. that many arrows anymore. God damn it, and I'm also wasting them big time. probably have to get back to Firelink and buy, buy arrows. I really need them. Oh, 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 man. I'm just pushing it. Just standing there a little bit too long. All right, now let's get the freaking dog. This is what I mean with missing uh, them. Right, there we have another annoying arrow dude. What I could do, probably the most economical from an arrow perspective, is first lure the dog, take down the dog. Then I will just melee that guy. Oh, this is what I mean. Here, 
What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? It's so annoying, these dogs. They're so fucking annoying. It is unfucking believable. Seriously. How I dislike those dogs because they jump around you. They are just in your in your range. And even when they are in your range, you attack them and nothing happens. It just doesn't register. It is incredibly annoying. Alright, I'm pretty sure there will be more dogs. Yeah, here we go. More dogs. Fuckers. Oh! oh here, this is what I mean. Motherfuckers. Here, again, again. Oh, oh, oh man, this is really controller throwing annoyance over here. I can tell you that this whole section, god damn it, these dogs. Fuck these dogs. So you really only need to hit them once they are really close. Don't hit them when you think like, oh, we might have potentially a shot. No, you only hit them when you are... Oh, hear this, these double attacks. Oh, oh, oh. He attacks and then you never know up front when it will be. That's, that's the issue with these dogs. Up front, you, you cannot consistently take them out because you don't know when a certain attack is a single attack or a double attack and it almost looks like the double attack triggers when you attack and is quicker than your own attack so you will see, you cannot really avoid it the game just screws you over there god damn it wasting my fucking estus on dogs And we have three of these motherfuckers to deal with. And I have... Right about... Another dog. Are you kidding me? Finally, that's how it's supposed to go. Ah, fuck me so hard, man. Fuck me so hard. <coughs> All right, this area is super annoying. And I have 20 arrows left. And it takes at least f five or six headshots take them out so yeah I could just go waltzing in first see if there are any more dogs I don't see but I also don't think there are only two of these guys left I think there are more I think there are three left Let's bait them a bit. You know what? Screw you. I do think there's one other one I saw. Down below maybe? Or maybe I saw wrong. Alright, really simple area, but... Or simple and like and not like uh, super damage or uh, damage spawns enemies but god damn it an annoying area nonetheless and I do have to keep track of my souls because I have almost enough to level up hmm. 
maybe I already do. No, I only have one large soul. There's 1,000. I have 9,100. And I think leveling up is now 99 or 10,000 something uh, souls. But I for sure am not going back to the um, bonfire I was at. Alright, it was 335. Yeah, if I now take Estus, I will be wasting Estus. Um, but the thing is, I will not be now already going back because I don't. If possible, if possible, I would like to avoid having to do this area again. This is just a trolling area. And it's probably not that hard. I'm also maybe my approach is overly cautious. I should just pull the dogs one by one and then just melee the other guys. There, the other guys are not that bad. If you get close to them and keep on moving around and rolling, so you are not hit by their bolts. By the way, new area, good moment to end the episode. Uh, I'm hitting the 45 minute marker already. So um, guys, we will be exploring what's past this arch uh, thingy in the next episode. Hope to see you there. I hope you enjoyed. For the meantime, do not forget, always do keep on gaming. See you later.